Okay, so I'm here today to talk to you about why I do Google Forms in my business for pre-orders, for party packs, for um, booking online Facebook parties. So the reason why I do this is because it gives me a super easy opportunity to drop a line in there about hosting a party if they are just like doing a pre-order form or it gives me the opportunity to ask them if they've ever thought of joining Scentsy. And it's, it gives me a way to collect information, have it readily available to me. And honestly, like it's just a whole lot easier for me to collect all of my pre-order information in one place. And I'm able to do it time efficiently as well as ask questions that I may not ask normally when I'm just trying to get everybody's pre-order information the day before things release, okay? So I'm gonna share my screen and share with you guys some things that I do and why I do them that way. And I actually, I can't take credit for this. I learned this from many other amazing leaders in Sensi. So here's an example of my pre-order form. I created this in Canva. You can look it up. You don't have to be fancy. You can be completely like plain. It doesn't matter. Okay. I name my form, whatever it is I'm doing. I get their name, their phone number, their mailing address. Now shipping options. This is something that is right there in front of their face, right? And also this is eliminating me from going around town and dropping everything off. So when I do pre-orders and they know it's the first of the month and all that, that's their option. They can pick it up from my front porch. Where it says shipping is free, that's because I always have a $500 party going in on the first of the month. I make sure of that, whether it's from collecting pre-orders or whether it's from, um, like having an online link that's sitting at 500 ready to close, okay? They can choose to ship directly and it tells them the price. They automatically have to choose that. I made these required, okay? You can make them required right here. Now, their payment options. This is something that, this is my choice. Some people collect um, card information. Some people take cash and check. These are the options that I have for my people, okay? Um, Usually I just like explain what the product is. Most of the time I just get images like this from the workstation. All you do is just enter the picture. This is how I did this one. These are check boxes and I don't make these required because you don't wanna make them feel like they have to buy something, right? So all the ones up here are required. I don't require the ones down here. Check boxes mean that they can choose multiple things. This is where they're sent, where they can choose their scent packs. And I'll show you. So when they're previewing this form, oh, I had turned responses off. Let me turn it back on real quick. Um, so when they are previewing this form, they were able to go to my website right here and check the current availability because we know with COVID right now, some things were out of stock, okay? So they were able to click this to make sure it was available if they wanted to do that. But then I also just got a flyer from um, one of the flyer pages and put it there to make it easy. Here, they just, I made this on Canva. Once again, like you don't have to be fancy. You can just ask them the question. This just makes me happy. They were gonna type in what their choice was. And then up here, it says, choose a second choice for backup. The reason why I did that was because I expected these buddies to sell out really quickly and I didn't want to have to message them if a scent pack went out of stock because you just never know. Down here, um, I created this. It's just if you need a custom amount, meaning if they wanted more than one buddy or if they wanted a six pack of wax or whatever, they could type in here. And now this is the part that I love. Would you want to get free Scentsy by booking your own Scent event? Yes, I love free. Maybe send me what hostess special you have right now, not at the moment. It's okay if they choose not at the moment or whatever. But what if they say maybe? 
now I can send them info. But what if I had just said, well, do you want to host your own scent event? A lot of people will just say no because that just seems overwhelming to them because they don't know what it is, okay? And then this one is a, um, I'm gonna read you those still. So here it says, how likely would you be in, oh, well that doesn't work it right. So how likely would you be interested in joining or having a business opportunity to make some extra cash. Not at all, zero, 10, sign me up. Guys, I just did a job form yesterday with some stuff that I had and I um, did a pre-order form and I asked about a scent event and I did it on a state scale like this. And my girl said seven out of 10. So that means I need to follow up with her. I need to talk to her about it. And then down here, I just have a thank you from me, okay? And you can see how it just looks a little bit different and then they submit it, okay? I'm gonna go turn this off. Um, here is where you get people's information. I turn off responses once that pre-order is over. So you're not, you're not like getting, um, people aren't filling that out after the pre-order time because if they filled that out after the pre-order time, it might not be there anymore, et cetera. I always come here and I click the, put a check next to get email notifications. That way, anytime somebody fills it out, it automatically notifies me. If you don't click this, you won't get an email, okay? So that's an example of that one. Let's see, for like my holiday collection, something simple, same information at the top, got pictures from the workstation. Once again, these are check boxes. So they were able to click any of those different things that they wanted. All of those from the workstation. But look at how when I did check boxes here, they could click let it snow, but they could also click I want more scents too. So that means I'm going to follow up with them and talk to them about what other scents they want. Okay. They need more pods. They can check all of those different things. Okay. I can tell you that doing this has definitely increased my PRV as well because I'm showing all of the different things that are happening and all of the different things that are releasing like on one page, okay? These were um, just asking if they wanted to be reminded. So if they checked this, then I was sending, I'm sending them messages when those things released. This was a pre-order for that. This was just a previous custom amount. Would you want free product? Same thing, how likely would you be interested in the business opportunity, okay? Now, for people that are doing a online party for me, this is what I send them, okay? It's simple, but it also gives me a way to ask them. Um, and it gave me a way for me to introduce Scentsy Club, my VIP group. This is also setting the stage for wanting them and hostess coaching them to get to a $500 party, okay? And you're, when you book this with them, this is already putting this in their head. That 500 is where you want to shoot for, okay? Um, this is just giving them some information. This is also giving them some hostess coaching, guys. This is giving them some hostess coaching, okay? And then here, and I am talking to them about getting paid off of their party, meaning they could join, okay? Yes, I'd love to get paid for it. Maybe let's chat. Maybe let's see how this party goes. No thanks, I'd rather just host and get free products, okay? So that's what I send to my online party host. I just started doing that. And then here, let's see, something just went off and I don't know what that was. This is for party packs. So I um, do the party pack thing. If you don't know what a party pack is, Christina Stainbrook did an amazing training on it. Make it you um, and do it for whatever it is you wanna do, okay? 
um, getting their address, cell number, email. I'm automatically asking them if they want to get free products, okay? Asking them if they want information on the business opportunity, okay? You should always, like, it's a whole lot easier to put these questions in a form than it is to continue to have the conversation with people because here they're doing the rating system. I absolutely love the rating system, okay? And I feel like, okay, and then I do a drawing form as well. I don't do this all the time, but this is so like, and obviously this is a personal special. This is not something I can post publicly, but if I ever do a, um, like a donation basket, I usually put business cards in there like this and it has a little QR code and that QR code can take them to my drawing page. And when it says enter for free Scentsy, guys, that can be something as simple as a sample pack. They don't care, it's free, right? But I'm getting their information, okay? I'm just telling them to follow me on social media. Let me do the preview. I'm telling them to follow me on social media, et cetera. They can actually click these different links name, phone number, email. Have you ever used Scentsy before? Do you want a free private shopping link so you can build rewards for discounted products? I'm interested in getting free and half off. Have you ever considered doing a side hustle? They submit it, okay? And getting that information is a way for me to follow up with them, okay? This is, like I said, it's not something I do all the time. It is a personal special, so please don't feel like you can post this somewhere. You can't, okay? Um, there are a ton, a ton of YouTube videos out on how to create Google Forms. I'm not going to go all into that, um, but I wanted to come and show you that this is what I'm doing now and why I'm doing it that way, okay? Um, let me also, I'm going to go, come on, where did it go? I'm going to click my jot form and I'm going to show you what that looks like, because that's where one of my um, favorite little rating scales are. So from now on, on my Google forms, I just changed this on my jot form but I'm going to ask them, would you like more information on hosting a scent social? How likely would you be interested in the business opportunity to earn some extra cash or even for personal discounts? Okay. You should always, always, always be asking people that. People are a whole lot more likely just to say yes or no, but if they have a rating scale, they're actually stopping and thinking about it. And I've talked to this girl that um, said seven out of 10 before, but she's never booked with me. But situations have changed and I can actually go back and look at her previous forms and see if she, vote, she registered it as a seven before. So maybe she's gaining more interest, okay? So I highly, highly suggest using those forms. If this is something that overwhelms you and you just can't do it, then don't. But if you are gonna use the Google form or a job form or whatever, I highly suggest putting those types of questions in there, okay? So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, once again, don't stress over making it beautiful and perfect, just get it done, let your customers fill it out um, and just serve everybody well. Great, thank y'all.